Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we've got some pretty awesome stuff. So, we have confirmed the next comic drop for tomorrow, which is Kang the Conqueror. I said in my previous tweet that I believed that it was going to be the most valuable comic to date. Um, and, yep, I believe that it will be, or well, I think it's going to be a very strong contender for the Marvel 1 comic, the first Marvel comic that we had. But, Kang the Conqueror first appearance a lot of cool stuff underlying that as well so i will touch on that um i did also want to go a little bit through the uh recent changes that apple has undergone with regards to fees and how that's going to affect omi um and i did also just want to touch on the price of omi for today so without further ado vivi announced that tomorrow's drop is going to be kang the conqueror first appearance now for those who maybe aren't as familiar with the mcu Kang the Conqueror is basically the next Thanos. Um, all signs seem to be pointing towards Kang the Conqueror being the next main villain. And this is the first appearance of Kang, which is going to be pretty awesome. So, um, if I just go straight to the details. <coughs> now, in terms of additions, we have 10,000, but the chance of you not getting a common has actually increased. So, we have 10,000 editions, 6,000 of those are common, which means 60% chance of getting a common. Typically, we would see 80% chance of getting a common, so that is good. Um, and if we have a look at the secret rare, the chance of getting a secret rare has gone up by about double. So before you started with 1%, and then it went to like 1.3, 1.5, I can't remember what it was. And now it is 2.5% chance to get a secret rare. That being said, the actual numbers, the raw numbers of secret rares are significantly lower. So we typically were seeing 500 and that for this drop we're going to see 250. <coughs> so where does that put us in terms of pricing? I believe the commons, they're going to go for at least 20 gems. So, you know, pretty solid ROI on that. The uncommons, you know, I can see clearing 40 to 50 gems pretty easily. The rare, I can see going for above 100. The ultra rare. I can see this competing with the Marvel 1 comics, so potentially 400, 500. And the Secret Rare, I can see this clearing 3k pretty easily. I think it could go beyond that, but 3k is kind of like the benchmark that I would give it. <coughs> so, if we have a look at the physicals, um, what's interesting is that these are actually quite highly priced themselves. So... And graded 8 one here is going for about 7k USD, just over 7k. Even the lower graded ones, they go for around about 2 to 3k. So we know that the physicals do have somewhat of an impact on the NFTs. And the fact that these are going for quite high price, again, further reinforce the fact that this is going to be a very valuable drop. Now, if we just have a look at this article here. So... This has kind of been going, take, doing the rounds recently, and it's basically a change to Apple and their um, payments that they take. So we know that on Vivi, Apple takes a 30% cut, but now um, it's been ruled that Apple, um, they need to allow other forms of purchasing to remain competitive. So we know that Omi to NFT is coming. We know that, you know, people were saying, hey, can't Apple like come around and say something to Vivi if they allow Omi to NFT, etc. Well, not anymore. So again, that's further going to reinforce, you know, the use case for Vivi. That's going to introduce more confidence from people who are skeptical about, hey, you know, the whole Fortnite thing, it could affect Vivi. You know, it's not going to happen now. So yeah, have a look at this article. Um, it's the Epic versus Apple case. And yeah, um, we won't need to worry about that 30% fee uh, impacting users. So again, that's good for the people who, who aren't planning on using Omi. But again, I believe everyone should kind of learn about the Omi ecosystem themselves too. So yeah. Um, now, we do also have the Omi Homie t-shirt. So check the link below. Use my code K10 for a 10% discount. And any proceeds, they do go towards supporting the future giveaways, competitions, etc. So do check that out. We have um, some other t-shirt designs as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, lastly, what I want to touch on is the price of Omi for today. So if we just have a look here. 
right so we saw that the price did break below the key kind of 0.35 cent region and it didn't break down all the way to our kind of main trend line so that's good um, it stayed above and now it's come back and closed above this key 0.35 cent range again and it's just in this zone so we're currently trading in between 0.39 and 0.35 cents um, that's a zone that we saw earlier um, around about the start of September and then we had that huge kind of push up all the way to like 0.5 cents and then we came all the way back down again so I believe we are due to break that 0.5 cent range immutable X is around the corner MTL is around the corner that is planned for this month if we don't get it this month then yeah we will break below that zone but I'm pretty hopeful that you know we should be getting it this month they were on the testing you know back at the start of September so I'm pretty hopeful everything should roll out um, and that being said the floor price of VV NFTs we noticed have also been going up and I believe that's just in the anticipation of moving over to OpenSea so a lot of people are you know stockpiling stockpiling the NFTs they believe are going to be the most valuable so pride the labits comics etc but yeah that's pretty much everything I want to go through with you guys today um, do check out the Omi Homie merch thanks so much for watching please do like subscribe to support the content and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya